two, three, four steps I take from my bed to the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. Will today be rough or will today be great? I was sitting here trying to update uh, the Minotaur and I couldn't figure out where to put wide gaps and all that because it just made the cost a lot bigger and it just didn't work. And then I saw those two bases, the hold and the griff by Spinky and Dust and I figured this actually is going to work with my footprint outside of the inner shell. So yeah, let's see what I did. Here you go, I bring you the Minotaur V2. We have our uh, disconnectable uh, channels here. And all you need to do is basically put these root channels and they disconnect, right? And then you can just uh, reconnect them by and upgrading. All right, so from here, you are greeted by these walls and those furnaces and you have those peaks above that basically see you and the entrance is way over here on this side there's going to be symmetrical on three sides so you're going to see three of them uh, identically so you come here and you are able to remove the windows so you can see from the outside so you can make this stone or wood it's up to you um, also here you have drop boxes which you also have the choice to turn into a single bedroom if you'd like you can remove the shelf, remove uh, the boxes there instead, put, put a bed in a locker, you can do that. But the reason I use a uh, Dropbox room here is because you already have uh, a ton of bedrooms within the funnel wall. So as you can see, these will create a funnel with um, the furnace as well, which you can keep open if you like. And when you open it up, you're able to get to this side where the funnel starts. So when you come in here, you basically are greeted, you're going to be greeted, sorry, with a bunch of shotgun traps. Like I said, I saw the speaking and dust video. Yeah, I got inspired. And you have this area, which basically can also cover that wall as well if you keep it open. And this is going to be identical on all three sides as well. And the bedrooms here, as I've said. So as you can see, you can keep that open as well and then it blocks that. You can add more shotgun traps if you like uh, down below. Um, but you also have your battery down here. You can either add a box or you can cover this with um, a locker as well. So let's say you have a locker. All you have to do is just hide that there, dude. Like, yeah, just another wall. So yeah, so it goes all the way around. You have another bedroom here, but this one basically just has uh, the bed and the locker gives you these particular peaks into that entrance area when people try to push in you can shoot them and let's go into the inner shell so you have three of these entrances as you can see on three sides they can go lock like this and then you have the third above which is separated as well by those chain link fences so when you go in you can add small furnaces here electric furnaces extra boxes more beds up to you so identical in all three parts you can see that is just something that's added there. You don't really have to add these, it's up to you though. Know? I just put them there for aesthetic purposes. So this is the jump off going uh, to the top. As you can see, another bedroom. You can probably add another bed there if you like. And there's a grenade uh, station here. You can throw grenades to people that are inside that shell. And you can also climb up and get to your inner peaks. All right, so your inner peaks basically you can see everything. Now, why do I use this inner peaks? If I die, I drop this gun. It's okay. Right, buildings are turning. I forgot about that. But yeah, <laughs> it basically just drop down, so no one can get your gun. You can safely defend from up here. And this is gonna be your entrance. I mean, your jump up to the to the roof. But you also have an option to go to the peak here. Now, the reason that this is open, so if you don't want to open that garage door, you can just use that. Later on, you'll see where I put boxes here, so you're able to use that as well. Some additional shotgun traps, but you have some boxes here that you can use for drop boxes as well, or extra loot. You can put bags here. Uh, you can even make this into a vending machine with a door. Up to you. Um, going down, this is basically the same as the old Minotaur. Except I added some shotgun traps to it, so it's not that hard to 
navigate through here, you just have to crack over the way. Then you have four more boxes here in your TC. But yeah, basically climbing up is not that much of a pain. You can get there really fast. And then come to the roof. Um, you can actually put a pen here and make a table if you like. Like literally over that gap. I hate that they made beds like this by the way now. Where they don't bump into the box. So then you basically um, have that peak. So you're more protected and you have the option to close the door. Oh, of course you gotta keep that close. So you have your mini mountain roof here as well, which gives you um, visuals to shoot outside at the same time. And this is the dust and spinky peak. Kind of, they call it the cross peak, I think. I just love it, man. Like, it literally gives you a fuck ton of view. As you can see. Yeah. Also, fit a mini copter here as well. And, yeah. and you can go ahead and change how you orient your uh, windmills. But um, I actually tested to having a turret here. It actually helps a lot. You can still add another turret here if you like. Don't worry. Just watch my previous video if you think that you have problems adding more turrets to your bench so you can actually make it work watch that video but yeah uh, that is today's simple as hell and let's proceed to the build video thanks for watching